Snagit supports transparency when capturing and editing an image. This is a great feature that makes capturing easier and creating effects more compelling. Of course, it can be difficult to understand what transparency is and how it works, so let me start with an example. At one time, capturing an image with Snagit acted a lot like putting a picture on top of a piece of paper. We call this area the canvas. And sure, you could change the color of the canvas, but you had to have some color canvas under the image. This usually wasn't a problem as long as the color of the canvas matched the document or presentation you were using. But if your presentation used a dark theme and your image had a light canvas color, the results usually didn't look very good. Luckily, Snagit lets you use a transparent canvas. So instead of placing your image on top of a colored piece of paper, it's like you have a clear piece of plastic underneath your image that you can see through. Now your image can look like this in a PowerPoint presentation instead of like this. So now that we understand what transparency is, let's look at how we can control it in Snagit Editor. By default, Snagit gives you a transparent canvas to work with. When I capture a new image, I can resize the canvas and see a light gray checkered background. The checkered background is how image editors represent a transparent background. By resizing the background, I've made the dimensions of my image larger and increased the amount of room I have to work on. You just want to remember that when you place this image in a document, it's not going to be the size of your image you see here, it's going to be the size of your canvas. Another way I can expose transparent regions in my capture is by deleting sections. If I want, I can select portions of my capture, press the delete key on my keyboard, and remove a section of the image. Something to keep in mind is that this section of my image isn't white, it's transparent. So if I place something behind the image, it's going to show through. If I want, I can get a preview of what the image may look like on a dark background by hovering over the thumbnail of the image in the tray. One other way to add transparent sections to a capture is to use the Fill tool. If you look in the Fill tool style gallery, you can see there's a transparent color option. The Fill tool will change one color in an area to the color we've selected. In this case, it'll change it to a transparent color. Since I captured this image with a solid colored background, I can click the background color and make it all transparent. Now, if I draw a callout on this image, like this, and send the image to my PowerPoint presentation, you can see that I only get the capture and the callout with no background behind it. There is one tip I should give you about transparent images and using the system clipboard. If I click the Copy All button and paste an image into Word or PowerPoint, it's going to retain the transparency. But some applications, particularly other image editors, don't always work the same way. For example, if I copy my capture into this image editor, the background becomes white. But if I save my image as a ping, or any of the other image formats that support transparency, it will usually open with the transparent background intact. Check out the Snagit help file if you have any questions about which formats support transparency. Now one last thing before I go, I'm sure there are times when you need or want a white background like Snagit used to have. No problem. You can change the canvas color of an image from the image tab. Just click the canvas color button and select your color. And when you create a new document in the editor, you can change the canvas color as well. So if you prefer a transparent canvas or a canvas with a particular color, you can choose what you like.